At a special event at Silicon Valley, curious crowds line up to catch a glimpse of what could be the future. Shanghai-based Yin Feng, one of the world's largest automotive interior suppliers, unveils for the first time ever its vision of what the inside of autonomous cars will look like someday. Even before it arrives, you can see that it's cleaning itself. So there's a UV light that's sweeping the front table. So that's sanitizing all the high-touch areas. Vice President of Research and Design Tim Shu grants us access. A simple palm scan. The vehicle welcomes us, so we'll have our name show up or welcome whoever the designated rider is. Lights come on and the seats rotate to welcome us. The phone charger sinks and a cup holder does the same. In front of me are the main controls embedded in the bamboo. So this is a, a touch screen here? It is. Okay. So you go this back to the, the menu and you can do, for example, here a temperature control as well. The controls also feature a technology from the company Noveto called virtual headphones, where music is played only for me. This is being sent only to you. Wow, I can hear music in my ear yes. and he can't hear me. I don't, That's I don't pretty hear. amazing. That's hard to capture on video, but our camera can pick up a trace of what I'm hearing when we put our microphone next to my ear. Oh, I see you're also not wearing any headphones. Ride sharing of the future would not be complete without a comfortable back seat that can also entertain. You can just be close to the surface and it will react because, in fact, the sensitivity is not in the surface itself. It's actually in the camera that's reading the space. The fabric with sensors inside is a technology developed by Yen Feng called Active Skin. I can actually touch it and change the mood that I'm feeling at the moment or feeling more playful. I can even play some games. I could absolutely see scenarios where this is in my garage and I'm going up the coast. And today, as an experience, I don't want to drive. I just want to look. Yen Feng says 70% of the innovations in their concept experience are ready to go into production now. The emotional connection to a car has always been very strong. And it's very much driven by the exterior design and the act of driving. Now, the act of driving is going to disappear over time and the exterior design is going to be less important. So what we're focusing on in our future vision as well is an opportunity to create that emotional connection to the interior. Hendrick says when passengers ride on a plane or a train, they're less concerned about how it looks on the outside compared to the ambiance inside. Yen Feng believes that idea will shift to the auto world too, as more people focus on enjoying the ride since they're no longer needed at the wheel. Mark New, CGTN, Sunnyvale, California.